everyone, and welcome to another edition of Race Face Drive in 5 here on RaceFace.tv. My name is Jacob Seelman, and joined on this episode by Mississippi Legends car racer who has pretty much started the season off on about as hot a streak as you can, Cole Denton joining us. And Cole, you said it to me a couple of weeks ago in the midst of 10 straight wins that you didn't know exactly where this came from to start the year. I imagine you're as comfortable in the race car and about as confident as you can be 11 wins this year. And like I said, 10 in a row to start off is, is pretty crazy for you guys. It's, it's been amazing. And just, just winning the double header in Atlanta and the very first race of the year was a huge confidence boost considering it was my first ever win at Atlanta and now I'm just winning pretty much every race that I go to. So it's it's been really exciting and a huge confidence booster to be able to go out and win pretty much every race I race in. Talk a little bit about Atlanta, because it, unlike some of the other places that you race at regularly, Cordell, Lanier, uh, a- Atlanta's tricky because that quarter mile is very flat. Um, if anybody's seen the Charlotte Legends Oval, it's it's similar to that where it's kind of built into the front straightaway, but it's not easy to win there, and you've just made it look easy this year. It's it's a really hard track to race on, and actually Charlotte is a little skinnier than Atlanta. Atlanta's wider and shorter, so they're really close, and Atlanta is just a really hard track to win at because it's really hard to pass. And the only way really to pass anybody is hitting is hitting them. So that's what I try not to do. And it's been really hard to get as close as you can to them without touching them. And it's a really hard track to set up a pass and super fun when you, when you can battle up front, because once you get a couple fast cars battling, It's just super fun to be able to cross each other because of how close you are in speed. But it's a it's a really hard track to win at, though, because usually there's two last shootouts at the end and everybody's super aggressive. So, oh, yeah. And and yet you've already won there five times this season, which is remarkable, given everything and all the variables that go into that. And, you know, people don't understand Legends Car Racing has been a lot about you know bumping grinding there's usually a lot of contact and you're one of the few that i've seen between atlanta and some of these surrounding short tracks that you've made that your focus to be able to go out drive clean and you know really really try to earn respect my focus since i even started racing when i was four years old was to race everybody clean no matter what they do to you even if they if, even if you lose your cool, just stay clean, cool, and always race with respect. And most of the time, if you race them clean, they'll race you clean back. So that's what I've always, always tried to go out and, and do. And it's been really great so far just running people clean. So let's back up now because we just had that conversation and yet we see on the background behind you your legends car and even going back to your bandolero days inspired by the cold trickle days of thunder scheme which for people who don't know you you go by cole but your given name is nicholas and that nickname has always come from the movie and started pretty much when you first started racing right it has and i got the nickname the second i got a go-kart when i was four years old i've always had the cold trickle theme my go kart was Meliella on the on the roof and City Chevy on the sides, and then then the Bando was Meliella and now the Legend City Chevy. Like that's all I've done in my whole racing career was always Cold Trickle themed cars. And and used to they'd call me Cold Trickle. They didn't even know my real name. Some of them. <laughs> so they're starting to learn my real name now. <laughs> Absolutely, and I imagine that means you watched the movie religiously growing up. <laughs> yes, it, it's a really good movie. So, Cole, not only have you won between Cordell, Atlanta, Lanier, you spent time a couple of weeks ago, a big national event for Legends Cars, the NX Spring Nationals at Nashville Fairgrounds, which a lot of people know the big track at the fairgrounds. You guys ran on the built-in 
short track, the quarter mile that's kind of built in, similar to Atlanta, built in at Nashville there, had some really, really good runs in a really, really tough field. I mean, when you talk about the kind of season that guys like uh, Ryan Zima, who's local here in North Carolina, and Keelan Harvick have had, you know, Kevin's son. I mean, just just to show out the way you did against that kind of competition, I know ha- had you guys really, really pleased. And uh, actually on the first race, I qualified 11th, and I was like, oh, wow, we're, we're mid-pack, and that's where all the wrecks are. And I passed everybody and got up to fifth and was battling with all the all the top competitors in the nation. And I really didn't think that we were going to be that close to them this season. And we are. And it's it's a huge accomplishment to go out to a national event and run with the top top kids in the nation. And Nashville, to me, is the hardest track to learn, considering you have to run the rumble strips and turn three and four. You got to hit the turtles and turn one and jump up on the curb and slide through the corner so it's 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 a really it's a huge accomplishment to run up run in the top five at at a national event and before that you went to nashville for uh kind of a one-off weekend race and actually got a trophy there (laughs) i sure did we went out there and led every lap so (laughs) we were trying to get some practice for uh the spring series and it, it paid off what for you, I know this is uh, not your first year in the Legends car, what for you has been um, the biggest challenge this year, just, you know, whether it's learning the car, something with your driving style, what have you tried to work on, even despite the fact that you've won a lot of races? What I've tried to work on is last season, I was scared that I might might get in a crash or something and mess up the car, not be able to race the next couple races. And this year, I've just worked on not backing out as much and giving up positions. That's one thing that I'm bad about doing is backing out and giving people positions. And it's been hard to learn if you don't back out, they're going to they're gonna give you the lane. So it's, that's the thing that I, I've been working the most on this year is just not backing out. Comfortable aggression pays off is what we would say in the business. Now, to, to tell a little bit more about you, you're from Mississippi, which a lot of people know is not huge racing country, which is why we see you come up to Georgia and Tennessee uh, to run a lot of these races. I, I know it's a lot of travel, but you guys have really kind of made the best of, you know, the situation that you've been presented with. I mean, it's it's really hard to travel, but... Once we got started and traveling to Georgia and Florida and Nashville and all those big cities to race, it just kind of, we kind of got used to it. And the drive now, it doesn't feel like at all. So we've just been able to get up there and it's, it's really hard to get to Atlanta from where we're at. I mean, a seven, seven and a half hour drive and (laughs) my dad has to drive every, every hour of it. So it's really hard to get up there and consider Mississippi doesn't have pretty much any legend car tracks or Bandolera when I was racing the bandos. So it's, it's really hard and there's only one track in Alabama. So we have to travel to, to Georgia just to be able to race legend cars. So it's really hard on us. Well, any, any racer will tell you that the kind of trophies that you guys have gotten this year, uh, cut, it makes up for the traveler, makes the travel that much more rewarding for sure. Well, actually, I don't win for the trophy. I win for the winning sticker. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part about winning is getting the, the winning sticker. Like Cordell, since they changed the name and the logo, I got a new winning sticker for winning at Cordell. So I'm excited about that because I get a winning sticker everywhere I win. So it's that's nice. that's what I win for. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, we'll finish up on this topic because, and, and I want to, at some point, we're going to show off your sim setup on raceface.tv because I got the chance to see it for the first time today. And <laughs> I, I, I don't know many professional sim racers that have the kind of setup that you have, but you are extremely active on iRacing. I know you use it to keep your skills sharp when you're not in the race car. Uh, talk a little bit about kind of how you work with the sim and and what you've enjoyed on there recently because I know they've had a lot of a lot of cool stuff in some of the recent builds and every update we get a new car and some new tracks and legend cars to me 
aren't super realistic on iRacing, but they help you with dealing with the horsepower and how the car reacts when you hit bumps and stuff like that. Like, Cordell is not on iRacing, but South Boston and the Bullring are really close to it, mm-hmm. so I can use those tracks to to get used to carrying the momentum through the corners, but slowing down just enough to make the corners. So that's one hard thing about about legend cars at Cordell, <laughs> because you got to carry enough speed to be scrubbing the bottom and the bottom wall, but you got to slow down enough to get there. So mm-hmm. it, that's one thing that Arison really helps with is controlling the car. So before we let you go, Cole, obviously, as we see on the car behind you, it takes a, a village, as they say, to to make this sport possible. I know you've got a lot of sponsors and people that we always want to thank. Take a minute to uh, give some shout outs. Uh, who makes it happen for you and your guys? I want to thank my mom and dad, my dad driving me all over the country <laughs> and my grandparents, Race Face Brand Development, 77 Speed Shop, Matt Jones Motorsports. Friends of Jacklin Foundation, Myers Construction, and most importantly, God. Absolutely. And you've had a lot of practice with that uh, with that part because of all the wins this year. We're excited for you, Cole. I know, you know, right now you've got a very rare weekend off. I'm not used to you uh, not being at a racetrack on a given <laughs> weekend. Yeah, it's um, it's nice to have an off week every now and then just to kind of cool down and regroup because... We've been at the racetrack pretty much every weekend since February. <laughs> well, and it's and it's a good time to regroup too, because I know it gets super busy uh, in June there when Thursday Thunder picks up at Atlanta. So, uh, Cole, we appreciate your time here on this drive in five. Uh, excited to see what happens for you going into the summer, and uh, we'll see you at the end of the month, and we'll do it again. All right, thank you. Sounds good. That's Cole Denton. My name is Jacob Seelman. This has been another Race Face Drive-In 5, and we'll see you next time here on RaceFace.tv.